big, I think maybe like a brim or something. Oh no, nah, Kiwi! <laughs> oh yeah! Yeah! Buddy! That's a good one! Well, yeah. there you go! Hitting the Hawkesbury River Prongs! Get him unhooked for you guys first! Alright you guys, you saw I caught that Dewey. Sorry I couldn't get much footage off it because Jeremy had had a, a like a bigger decent strike and while the school's in, you can't really stop fishing. Um, so I, I let it go over the side. Uh, I put a little bit of a photo or screenshot just so you can have a better look at it here. But um, yeah, <laughs> that's uh, the beginning to my day. Started off with a Dewey. Oh, well, I've caught two small Taylor before that, but yeah, it's pretty good. Alrighty guys, so wanted to tell you guys that we're actually midway through tide change which is why the boat's positioned the way it is. Usually the back of the boat would be towards the bridge or towards back there. Um, it's actually perfect way to fish those because we've got maximum coverage. There you go. There you go. We got that one on film. <laughs> no fish. No fish? That's a fish. Surely. No? Damn, man. I got that one on film too. Yeah, just fishing is really good at the moment. It's really picked up since the beginning. Hmm. Maybe he didn't hook it enough. Something. The shell's probably bounced out of his mouth. Ah, uh, but Jeremy's hooked on to the past three fish, and despite being almost the same rig, prawn, and everything, um,. Yeah, mine's been a bit quiet, but that's okay. As long as one of us is catching fish and not just rays, I'm happy with that result. It looks like my line's going off a little bit, but who knows. Hey. There's a zoom in, you little bath. Fucking smile for the camera. He's hooked onto something. <laughs> Made a very big run at the start. Think I'm thinking another Dewey again, man. Yeah? Nah, they don't. They just have a couple runs, eh? Yeah? So we're gonna net this one. It won't be, bro. It won't come in this easy. Let him run, bro. Let him run. Let him do what he wants to do. Look at the bend in that rod, folks. He is. No way he's not. Don't worry about me line for now. Shouldn't affect us. Get a better grip on me phone. Actually, let me give me one second. Sorry about, sorry about, sorry about. Alright, come on this side. Switch, 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 switch. He's on this side again. Oh, double hook up. Double hook up, double hook up. Oh, we've got a double. We've got a double and I cannot film both. I'm growing it with my teeth. I don't know if it's... Oh. Oh. <laughs> I'm literally filming with my teeth right now. I don't know what mine is. Oh my, get the net, get the net. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Please, please get this guy, please get this guy. Yeah, boy. Oh my sweet Jesus, yes! Oh my sweet Jesus, we, I just landed a massive flatty. Holy crap, yes! Oh my, and I think I caught the strike on camera, man. There's his thing. There's, oh, we've got to get our baits back in the water, guys. Here, I'll help you with that, actually. I'll be one second, guys, I'll record soon. Alright, Jeremy's on to one. Right after I finished preparing the boat, after the last one, Jeremy's already on one again. This is wrong town, man. Another spastic little Jew. Another spastic little Jew. Jeremy. He's what? Rich. Rich. Rich Jew. <laughs> Rich Jew. These guys don't spend often, don't they? Well, he's got the Jewy rig on as this freaking train passes by. Ah, uh, there you go. You called that for a Jew. 
But I don't know about you, but that doesn't look like a Jew to me, man. <laughs> nice shot of him and truck him back here. There he goes. Nice work, Jeremy. Yeah, uh, Jeremy's just had a little strike on there. Just a small fish. Oh, now my rod's going off too, a little bit. Just a tad. Which one's going to go off first, Jeremy? Yeah, I think so too. I think you should have hooked him there. Is there anything? No? It's a little unfortunate. Dive on me. Keep quick. Are you recording though? Yeah. Uh, he's coming up mighty quickly. And the whiting. Taylor. Taylor are eating pieces of Taylor. My god, this is absolutely insane. Now we, we don't even have time to get our bait back in the water. This is this is wrong town, man. This is absolutely wrong town. This guy's gonna turn into more bait for us, so he's definitely legal, I know that. But uh yeah man, give me one second. I don't even know what to say. I'm lost for words at this current point. Alrighty guys, I'll give my flat a measure. This fish I caught while filming with my teeth. <laughs> can you believe it or not? So I'll give it to Jeremy, just so you can record over it. That is a 47 centimeter flatty, while the tail of flats behind us. So it is an absolutely insane day here at the Hawkesbury and it is not over my friends. It is not over at all. The guy actually told us that this big tide would like negatively affect our fishing, but that's what being positive gets you guys. Never ever be negative about something. If you're out on the water, you have to be positive because you won't try something new to get the fish, you know. I got wherever that guy is on a um, piece of tailor that I was hoping for a flatty, but he took the Hawkesbury River prawn anyways. So yeah, when I've calmed down a little, I'll come back to you and yeah that we have. Get my towel. Here's a tailor. It's a nice size. That is a nice flatty man. That's a very nice fish. We've still got a bait in the water so just in case if anything happens I'll give him a measure. Um, okay let me stop here. As this rod had a massive take and the rod buckled and there was about three seconds of just pure drag and there's getting bite on it again and it's a whole fillet of tailor so I, I was absolutely I, I had no time to hook it because this stupid hire boat has this canopy and it's just like pesked me and um, Jeremy there you go see that it's just pesked us for so long. Like, I have to duck right now. Oh, I thought that was him. I thought that was him. I may actually move it to this side over here. All right, you don't mind holding that. Oh, there we go. So hey guys, just want to update you guys, oh my god, what can I say, <laughs> I haven't had time to redo lines, knead up the place or anything and I'm barely finding time to film as well, I just got cut off by a big tailor and I think I mentioned the, uh, I did about when it started to pull drag, I think it, that was a big tailor as well because um, I got cut off the very next cast. Um, as soon as it started to go down, so I was actually hoping for Jewies on slices of Taylor, but if Taylor want to eat themselves, go for it. Um, yeah, I just I'm I'm not drained. I'm just sinking into what's just happened. You know, three legal fish in a matter of minutes when all we were catching were rays. It's just wrong town. So yeah, that's that's the update for now. Our eskies, I won't say it's full because I've got a small esky. There it is. But, um, yeah, it's definitely worth the trip now, 100%.
Oh my god, Jeremy just had the biggest strike just then. Not sure what it was. Yeah, man. Jesus Christ, if you need the net, just let me know. Is it big? Huh? Uh, if you're wondering why I'm so excited over this fish, it's just because the way it struck as soon as it hit the water, almost. His whole rod went down. His rod almost went in the water, didn't it? It's something big. It's a dewy. That has got to be one of the weirdest dewy strikes in the history of dewy fishing, man. Yeah, it was like a trevally almost. The way it was going, eh? Jesus Christ. Uh, Jeremy's gonna go for the release. I'll put my phone close to the um, water as well. Not in the water, that. It's in there. Yeah, there you go. Just pull it back and then out. Oh, there you go. Alrighty, guys. Jeremy's chewy. Yep. Off he goes. There you go. So, after an awfully slow day and what was seeming to be one that we'd want to forget, it's turning to be pretty good because three stingrays in a row for this guy and then a weird strike which turned out to be the Jewfish, you know. Ah, good game, good game. Hey guys, so that's our Dewey for today and well not for today but because he does have to go back but um yeah he's a nice little soapy you can see that he's got quite the scar on his arm um, back there you can see that and that's that's not recent that's from way before it just shows you that this river is full of other predators as well he's quite the banged up fish but yeah pretty one nonetheless so we'll let him go very soon Alrighty guys, so just to update you guys, we moved our location just on the other side of the bridge. We were on that side before. Um, yeah, we'd feel like that, we felt like that place was kind of worn out a little bit. Starting to get a little bit slower, so we had the option to move, so we took it. Got uh, set up straight away. Uh, let's hope for something. I'm not too sure what. Hopefully there's a flatty hanging out amongst in there somewhere. Or a... Uh, Another Dewey comes by to say hello. Either way, I'm happy. Let's do it. Alrighty guys, so that concludes our adventure today. Uh, fishing with Jeremy over here. Check out his channel, I'll link it in the description. Uh, yeah, today was a pretty hectic day. It started off a bit rough for us, but um, yeah, we got there in the end and we ended up having multiple hookups at once, at one stage. Got cut off by Big Taylor and it all happened, so. Yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video and until next time, tight lines.